Self-care, is it a necessity? Is it a privilege? What is it for you? I'm out here taking care of myself. I got up early, uh, so I have some time to myself um, preparing the day. And this week I had quite a few discussions on self-care. I had the privilege to be on my my friend uh, Kim um, uh, Kim's uh, Facebook show, uh, Coffee with a K, Coffee with Kim Live. Uh, it airs Monday, I think it's 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. It's 5 a.m. Singapore time. So I urge you to go there. Every week she has different guests and this week uh, I was last minute, um, we had not planned it for this uh, uh, this week. Uh, I think her guest got sick, so I said, you know what, reminder, uh, which is actually something we do in high performance coaching, so at certain times we put reminders in our phone to, well, to uh, as an alarm, to remind us, like uh, for me it's at 9 o'clock, 9 a.m., it will be my three power words, how to show up, and this is also about self-care not getting completely stressed out, um, reminding myself who I, who I am as my best version. So right now that was another reminder. So this is what we teach in high performance coaching to get you, to help you stay on track, right? Maybe if you have a low in the afternoon or you have daily meetings in the afternoon and you know they are very stressful and instead of getting completely freaked out is like have a reminder as an alarm before with something you want to do maybe you you're calm maybe like just keep breathing whatever it is a reminder and you might say Renate this is so so simple yes but the simple things do you do them they only work when you do them so self-care and self-care, most of the people think, but lots of people think self-care is about you know, having nails done, having the hair done, uh, having makeup done. And no, it's that's part of it. And it's great. And I love having a great massage. But self-care really is your responsibility. It's a responsibility some people don't really grasp. Because from lots of people, especially people who are completely busy or busy moms or busy dads, they're like, I have to take everyone first, everyone is first, and then if there is 30 seconds left, that's for me. But man, that's not self-care, you know. And uh, don't get mad at me, it will not be easy for some of you. But guess what? If it were easy, anyone would do it and everyone would do it. If you really want to take your life to the next level, towards the life of your dreams to their life by design you have to take some courageous action and it, most of the time it doesn't ha uh, take, uh, doesn't happen overnight a question for you if you're really busy if you fulfill everybody everybody's request at work your co-workers like Susan you don't mind doing this for me or at home the kids and your, your husband everyone I know Giving is fantastic and we give, 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 but you can only give what you have. So if you completely burn out, if you don't take care of yourself, you will not be able to give, right? So how can you do this? And uh, I just spoke with, with someone. She's a busy mom. She has six kids and she runs several businesses. And for her, and I could see it on her face, this, this amazing smile. She's such a beautiful person. And if you watch this, you know who you are, Kim. <laughs> Is I just get to have time for myself. So she was driving to a beautiful part of the country, uh, meeting family, doing some business, and just being away from family. And I know for some of you, it's like, oh, I cannot do this. But for her, just having time for herself just without having to look around okay what's next what could the kids do and what do I have to take what do I have to take care of next just having time for yourself reflecting on your life on what you want to do or just deciding to go for a stroll maybe just deciding to go and have a coffee maybe just 
just having time for yourself. Repeat this. I have time for myself. I take time for myself. And this could be anything. This could be 15 minutes every day, especially for those busy moms. I know from my friends, when they have kids, newborns, it's not easy. But not everyone watching here has newborn kids, right? And most of the time we look, we look for, and again, don't hate me for this, saying this to you. We use it as an excuse, or we are not used to taking care of ourselves any longer. We forgot how to do that. So that's why in high performance coaching, I always tell my clients um, to, to own the calendar. And in my program, Pain to Power Now, it's like how to get from pain, it can be physical, emotional, uh, financial pain, get into your power again. Having the ability to choose, and by the way, I'm not selling my programs here, just saying what I do because it works. Really owning your calendar. And one of the simplest things you can do is, and it works, is schedule me time in your calendar. So in your calendar, whether it's a physical calendar or whether it's your phone, you block some time every single day if you can. And even if it's like 10 minutes in the morning. So I know it's hard. I'm not a morning person either. And this week getting up at four, preparing for um, for being on the show at five. This is not my thing, but it was close to my heart. So I did it and I took care of myself afterwards. So put it in your calendar. And what do you mean? Not just like, just write it anywhere. So if you can, and if you know you have the opportunity in the morning, or you have like in the afternoon uh, that slow business, or the kids are still not back from school, etc., etc. And even so, you have a hundred things to do. Schedule time. So maybe from three to three fifteen. Hello, nice to see you. Mm, I was really inspired by uh, by listening to you today. Just taking time for yourself and to, to make it work in a busy schedule whether you're a busy entrepreneur a busy mom is really schedule it and you schedule it like uh, you would schedule an appointment with a dentist having power over your calendar is so huge and yet so many people give this power away will it be easy what an impact oh thank you Kimberly so are you you are just unbelievable so people if you watch uh, if you watch the replay check out kimberly bassett check out her show uh, coffee with kim live every week she brings on um, people from different areas with different expertise it's worth it's a uh, it's worth watching interacting learning asking questions so i think it's uh kimberly since you're here it's uh, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Monday. Is that right? I know it's 5 a.m. Tuesday Singapore time. So I really urge you go there. It's uh, it's fun. It's not like you and a lecture. We're having coffee or tea. Yes, I'm working on a calendar. And I know it's not easy, right? Uh, if you want to come on, please come on. I don't even know how to do this here on my regular stream. Kimberly is, as I said, Monday, Mondays, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Coffee with a K, like in German, coffee, coffee, coffee with uh, Kim Live. She's amazing. She, she really serves people from the heart. She is an entrepreneur. She is a mother. She is a wife. And she is an amazing human being. And um, you, I'm... I'm a very, I'm an introvert by character and it's not that I'm overly excited about other people unless I feel the intention, unless I'm really connecting from the heart. So she is amazing. So just go there 
uh, and see what she has to share. All right, so moving forward. So basically, put it in your calendar. Is it easy? No, it's not. But you know, if you want to reach this next level, you have to get out of your comfort zone. And be aware, people might not love it. Your husband might be like, what? You have, don't have time to take uh, my stuff to the dry cleaners now. Your kids might be like, mommy, normally you don't say no. But you have to set boundaries. And this sounds easy, but it isn't. So get a coach, get a mentor who helps you, or get an accountability partner. You don't have to do this on your own. Or get someone, you schedule something, maybe you schedule me time, maybe you don't want to be completely on, um, on your own, maybe you want to do it with a good friend, a partner, schedule something with a, a partner, with an accountability partner, and then it's like, okay, every Tuesday from 1 to 2 p.m., I do this with my partner, we, whatever it is for you, or like, Every Thursday morning from 6 to 6.30 a.m. I do my high performance habits. I prime myself for the day. This is what uh, how Tony Robbins calls it. So what I do, my my re regime to start the day or self-care is, I do my Feldenkrais, some of my Feldenkrais moves in bed, activating my spine, um, getting ready. I do some just like cycling in the air to get my blood flowing. I have some warm water with lime. I do some stretching. Sometimes I read something. I don't like to, to write out um, my gratitude journal, to write out my day. I love to do it the day before, before I go to bed, because then it's set, I don't have to worry. I know when I get up, I have it done. Less stress, this is self-care for me as well. But you know, you have to take control. You have to take action. And this is one thing you can do. Decide what you want to do, what really fires you up. And maybe you have forgotten. Think of a time when you really got fired up. It could be small things like just, you know, stepping outdoors, like I'm out here now and doing some stretching or just getting up early, watching the sunrise and schedule it. Put it in your calendar because, you know, if it's not there, it will not happen. You will get back into your routine, into your habits and people will take care of you. They will take, well, not, not take care, they take control over you. And it does not mean that you don't love them. It does not mean that you don't care. But you have to take care of yourself first. This is not selfish to serve others even better. So take time for yourself. Schedule it in your calendar. It make it a daily habit. Do something that inspires you. And you can, you can do different things on different days. Laurent, hello. So we have lots of people here today from California, watching from uh, Illinois, from Chicago. And uh, yeah, nobody up here in Singapore. They are all busy, I guess, going to work. What time is it, by the way? It's 7.46 in the morning. So, and then kids are already on their way to school or they're already in school. People are on their way to the office. So I'm very grateful that I can work from home. And uh, today I decided um, to only well to take this morning off not completely off i i will go for an extended workout in the gym i will prepare for a client and i'm not stressing out at all so what is what is it for you this one thing that always fires you up that always makes you change your mood that always brings a smile to your face because laughing, smiling is also very, very important for self-care. It creates endorphins, they make you happy. If you're happier, everything changes. Your posture changes, right? Have you ever noticed if people don't take care of themselves, not they don't take care of themselves about nutrition, they eat crap, they don't take care of themselves the way they sit or they move. The slouch like right now I'm slouching as well I must say but that's not my normal self I still sit on my sit bones so this is also self-care learn how to stand learn how to sit in an organized way especially now since we spend so much time in front of the computer this is also self-care because if you're in pain you're probably not performing at your highest you're not enjoying the things you usually enjoy because you can make yourself forget the pain for a while, but it's always there. And if you are in pain, if whether it's back pain or it's 
uh, emotional pain. And lots of people have lots of emotional pain, lots of stress right now. Um, then you're not performing at your highest. Okay, so let's keep it short. Again, self-care, it's your responsibility. It's not something you shall, shall feel bad about. It's something to celebrate. You are important. Your well-being is important. You can only give what you have. If you don't have the energy, you can't give energy. If you don't have love, you cannot give love, right? Number three is find something that fires you up. If you can't remember, think of a time in your past when you did things which really made you feel great. That brought the life back into you, the mojo, the energy, the vitality. And then schedule it in your calendar every single day. Put it on your phone, like the reminders. And last but not least, or the last two, get, well, maybe in one, get an accountability partner, somebody who holds you accountable for it. Someone who is not like, ah, oh, yeah, I don't feel like it. So somebody who you can really believe in and trust and rely on. Maybe a friend, maybe somebody you know in a club, in a sports club, uh, a training buddy, or maybe you get a mentor, a coach who helps you stay on track and who uh, helps you find ways to t take even better care of yourself. Hope this serves you, my friends. Um, if you like it, let me know. If you think of, of the value of this conversational um, broadcast. Show some love. S-H-A-R-E with others. I know I talk funny, but the Facebook AI is getting really, really strange. Uh, I cannot log in into one of my accounts. Uh, yesterday my <laughs> Instagram account was blocked for some time to protect me. Thank you. I can. I know how to protect myself. Yeah, just, I don't know. We, I don't want to, to go there. So take care of yourself, your responsibility, because if you want to live life by design, you have to start taking care of yourself and you have to start taking courageous action. Even people around you might not like it because they are so used um, of you saying yes all the time. Is it easy? Not all the time. With a mentor, with an accountability partner, it's much easier. Hope this serves you, my friends. Um, if you watch a replay, please post hashtag replay. Uh, let me know your takeaways please let me know what else you would need from me to bring your life to another level with more energy more courage more joy more productivity and also be a better role model a better leader a better influencer and influencer in a positive way my name is renate prandtl i'm a coach and a mentor to people who get stuck people who are in pain any kind of pain and I help them get into their power turn those obstacles into stepping stones and lead a life by design, in a holistic way, and very important to me, in a sustainable way. Have a fantastic day. Love you. Auf Wiedersehen.